And now he has to defend this side, so we're gonna have Spear Goblins ready. And only thing he can play on this is like last second bats or something. And we hit them with the arrows! And we hit them with the arrows! I knew that was all I had in cycle. GG. What is up, gamers? It's Turkey here. And today we're gonna be using arguably the most broken deck inside of Clash Royale. And before you roll your eyes, trust me, this deck is actually really strong. I know everyone says every deck is broken or OP. This deck has the highest win rate inside of Ultimate Champion by about a 3 or 4% margin which statistically speaking at a 58% win rate, that's actually really, really good. I think the combination of three very, very strong and arguably overpowered cards in the Evo Battle Ram, the Goblinstein and the Cannon Cart all combining for a large push at the bridge is usually too much for the average player to stop. And I can speak firsthand to how good this deck is because every time I play against it on my main account, I get cooked. So if you can't beat them, join them. So today we are going to be joining the dark side and playing with this 3.3 elixir bridge spam deck. And if you feel like you want to climb an extra few hundred trophies by the end of the season, I would recommend that you do the same. And by the end of the video, it is my goal to convince you to try this deck because it is so easy and so strong. But I'm just a content creator, so don't take my word for it because as we know, talk is cheap. So let's hop into some matches and make our opponents cry into our first match of the video and you are going to see very quickly how strong this deck is. Um, bridge spam is, I don't want to say it's a lost art. Um, you know, when people hear bridge spam, they always think P.E.K.K.A, but that's not the case. There are a lot of decks that um, run bridge spam. It's kind of like an, an underknown or underutilized deck archetype. It's exactly what it sounds like. You have a lot of cards that are very hefty. They um, have lots of HP and they do a lot of DPS and they're difficult to kill. And that is the premise behind bridge spam is just making your opponents overspend and using some of their best defensive cards and then punishing them when they don't have their building in cycle because you have like five or six cards that weren't playing a building or you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's try and keep this cannon cart healthy. Cannon cart I think is one of the most broken cards in the game. I actually think it could use or it would benefit just a little bit from some balance changes uh, in my opinion. I'm going to go like this. Again, this cannon cart has been healthy as a horse for a very long time. He could pop the ability here, but that cannon cart has gotten a lot of value. If he pops the ability, it might be a little bit of an overextension because it is two whole elix elixir. Okay, so because he's spending so much, like, trying to get rid of this cannon cart, I'm going to go for a battle ram opposite lane. And that's what this deck does really well, because if you look, he, does, he just ate that entire battle ram. He ate that entire battle ram, and he still has to defend the left lane. And he still has to defend the left lane. Oh my gosh. And that's tower down. Effectively. 642 damage. All of that from spamming the bridge. And you could do that intuitively, too. I will say one of the most important things with bridge spam is letting knowing when to let your push go and and you know not automatically spamming the bridge every time i mean there are a lot of times when you want to just push uh, but knowing when to let it go is really important i didn't talk at all about the evil ice spirit either one of the best evolutions in the game definitely one of the most underrated um when used on defense defensively it's it's amazing okay we're gonna see if he goes like gang or something if he does it's worth arrowing and eh, i'll arrow bats too uh, i don't care i can get away with that because i have evil ice spirit in hand we're gonna go like this, and like I said, Evo Ice Spirit is going to be our get out of jail free card. Because look at it freezing that cannon card. We're gonna go Ghost here, and we can just pop this ability and clean everything up. Dude, Goblins, the addition of Goblinstein has made Bridge Spam so OP. Okay, we're gonna go like this, um, because I think he's gonna cycle back to a Mortar. And I want to uh, have this Battle Ram like get onto the Mortar, if that is the case. Okay. That's actually decent arrows value. I know I'm not hitting like any swarms with it, but I'm hitting a lot of stuff. And if there's one thing Bridge Spam can do, it is clog a lane. So we're just going to continue to clog this lane. We got Spear Goblins coming down, Ghost to snipe all of that. And we're just going to wait a second and let that Mortar lock because I don't really have another play. Pop this Goblin Sign ability and take care of all of that. So pretty easy, relatively easy game here against Mortar. Hang on, let me lock in. Yeah, GG's. Um, Mortar also <laughs> running the Goblin Stein, similar deck archetype because it has, you know, Cannon Cart and Goblin Stein, but we just played a little better. GG's to Wizard, easy first match, we'll see you in the next game. You know, our next match here against Kevo is probably how you'd say it. And, you know, I'm not a bridge spam player, I really am not, but this deck is so easy. <laughs> I mean, it has a high skill ceiling, ceiling too, but... It's just, it's just not a difficult deck. Okay, he goes with the Spear Goblin Hut. I thought that those were extinct. I, I haven't seen one in the wild in a very long time. So a lot of times when they run a spawner deck, um, they run Mega Knight. So just be, just be wary of that. Mm, I'm just going to let this go, I think. And then drop a cannon card in the back. It is what it is. 
Donk is going to do okay, but... Okay. Defensive Battle Ram, not a bad option, and it helps us cycle to our Evos, because it's basically, they're inflated Barbarians. You only get two of them, uh, but it's going to be fine. So he almost kind of like low-key running a Bridge Spam deck of his own. I'm going to try and keep my Cannon Cart healthy. That's like a common theme with the deck, um, is keeping your Cannon Cart healthy, because it does... It forces out so much elixir uh, if it can cross the bridge, and unfortunately, okay, he panicked and he, he used a Spear Goblin Hut, and uh, it's gone. Spear Goblin Hut is such an expensive card, man. I think they need to make it like one elixir less or something for how bad of a card it is. Okay, my man getting a little antsy on defense there. I would say I would say overspending a little bit. He's being very very aggressive, and if there's one thing Bridge Fam decks do well, it's punish aggressive players. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to go like this because, oh, I was trying to get that onto the bats. Either way, that's going to be a great source of damage. So, so far, so good. Looks like he's running, like, a bridge spam deck. I, I swear he has a Mega Knight. Whenever I see decks like this, like, nine times out of ten, they rock a Mega Knight. Spear Goblin's like this, so the bandit doesn't dash. Yeah, I was scared. <laughs> so I played the bandit. I played the bandit because I was noivous. Okay, we'll see what he does. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I shouldn't have to respond to that. He's going to charge up his Skeleton King ability. That makes a lot of sense. We're going to go Ghost because it does splash. Uh, and I might support this with a Goblinstein, especially if he opts to go for like a cannon card or something, which I feel like he's going to. Yeah, he does. Okay. Goblinstein, going to get a lot of value. We're going to go like this. Mm-hmm. And Evo Ice Spirit, going to be our best friend. Right. There we go. Clogging the lane, clogging the lane, and just like that, easy defense. He doesn't have his building in cycle either, so... Nice, he dropped his cannon cart. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to go bats, so we're going to go spear goblins here. He did not go bats, but that's okay. It's fine with me. Cannon carts are going to effectively cancel out. Evarbs are going to do a good job. Okay, let's go goblin sign like this. And just let it breathe, just for a moment. Ice Spirit here on these bats. Cannon Cart to snipe this uh, Spear Goblin Hunt. Battle Ram. Bandit over here. Let's see what he does. Let's go Arrows, because I think he has to go like something else. Nice, good. Barbarian's on the tower, and we have a push in the opposite lane. He's overspending on that side, so we're going to hit him... We're going to hit him where it hurts on the opposite side, and then he has to spam, so we're going to set up another battle ram in the opposite lane, and if he doesn't defend that side, he's going to get cooked. And now he has to defend this side, so we're going to have spear goblins ready, and only thing you can play on this is, like, last second bats or something. And we hit them with the arrows! And we hit them with the arrows! I knew that was all I had in cycle. GG's to Kevo. Couldn't handle the heat, man. It's too much pressure. We'll see you in the next game. All right, up here against Edris. One of the reasons I feel like this deck is really good as well is because there are certain deck archetypes that do better in double and triple elixir and certain deck archetypes that don't and this is definitely one of those decks that i genuinely feel like as the match goes on the deck gets better like any spammy hefty deck uh like this one does a lot better in double and triple elixir which is one of the reasons why again the deck archetype is so strong okay looks like he's running some form of bait uh i mean you saw it with the really aggressive start uh lucky me we're gonna go Spear Goblins of our own here. Okay. Yeah, decent. Not great, but decent. I wanna find out first and foremost when they have a building. That's like one of the first things you need to identify is like, one, do they have a building? Two, is it a good building? Uh, you know, how can you play around it? And Tombstone is like an okay building. Like it's it's good, um, but we can go at, you know, sneaky arrows on it or something like that. Man it at the bridge opposite lane of where the Ice Spirit is just to avoid giving spell value. He goes for a really, bad mega knight loki um we're not gonna mess up the kite this time or at least we're not gonna try to let's go like this cannon card is actually gonna do really good against the barrel oh my glob i said i wasn't gonna mess up the kite and then i messed up the kite ah i mean i guess that was a good tornado i don't know if that was the reason why my kite got messed up okay i'm gonna go evil ice spirit here because people underestimate the monster damage but look at him go look at him go and we have the evil ice spirit on the tower yeah, look at all that damage. That's crazy. I'm really happy with that. Uh, we're going to get a free King Tower activation after messing it up the first time. I got to work on that kite, apparently. Easy King Tower activation against the Firecracker. He might just drop a Mega Knight on this or something. Goes with the Goblin Stein. I always need to be mindful of the barrel and uh, how I want to defend it. So, like, because we have King Tower activated, um, it's going to help out a ton at these defenses. Yeah, I expect him to pop the ability. 
Um, I'm okay with that because Cannon Card is still a threat, right? So if he plops a Mega Knight on one side, he's going to have a hard time defending the other side. And I'm going to go for these cheeky arrows because look, look at the look at the one Barbarian. It forced out a log and now we're maybe going to get a Cannon Cart lock. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. That tonight's going to be a good lock. Ooh, Panic Barrel. Panic Barrel. You love to see it. Okay, I'm going to save my arrows for his barrel because, um, oh, that was a good play, actually. I'm not even going to front. That was a very good play. So we got to try and hit him where it hurts. Okay. Can't afford Mega Knight. Good arrows, and that's going to be a lock over there. We just got to make sure that we can defend the barrel. Yep, bandit in the back. And just like that, let's go, baby. Well played to us. Did we play it perfectly? No, we messed up. A few Mega Knight defenses, but hey, I'm just like you guys. <laughs> we'll see you in the next match. All right, up here against Maestro Jean, or Jean, Jean, whatever, however you'd say. And it makes me happy, to be honest, to see a deck that's running Evo Battle Ram. I feel like Evo Battle Ram, you know, notoriously one of the worst, worst quote unquote evolutions. So it's nice to see it getting the, the credit it deserves. If I was a little better and a little more prepared, I could have gone like ghost over there instead of going for the arrows. Okay, it looks like it's goblin drill. Actually, I thought it was graveyard. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what this man's running. I changed my mind. I have no idea. Okay, so homemade bait deck with baby dragon. Who knows, man? Who knows? Mm -mm -mm. We definitely are have a pretty good deck archetype to try and overwhelm bait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Brother. Mega Knight. Okay, we're gonna we're not gonna mess it up this time. I'm telling you, we're not gonna mess it up this time. Follow the monster. The reason I played cannon card over there was because it's supposed to help DPS this down. So really, really good play. Okay. Finally. Okay. I'm gonna do this, you know, just for sh shigs. And I think it'll take care of the spear goblins. And now, peep the cannon cart, peep the cannon cart, peep the cannon cart. Dude, people, no one's ever ready for the cannon cart to lock. I swear, I swear. No one's ready. No one's ready. And check out this battle ram kite as well. Oh, got that knight on a leash. If he goes for any swarms, we can arrow it. But he doesn't have guards in hand. <laughs> Dude, he just got dismantled. Oh my gosh, that sequence was crazy. Okay, Mega Knight comes down. That's totally fine, honestly. I think I want to go like this. An Evo Ice Spirit is going to be amazing. Spear Goblins instead of arrows. In general, saving your arrows for offense is like a really good strategy with th this deck. Okay, not bad. I could have defended a little better, I think. That Spear Goblin stuck. That Spear Goblin stuck. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to go Goblinstein. And I want him to go Mega Knight in the opposite lane. Um, so that's kind of why I'm pressuring like that. Arrows over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we actually got really good damage in the opposite lane, so good and bad. Okay. Can't afford Mega Knight. Can't afford Mega Knight. Nice. Good, good guards, honestly, by him. Those were pretty well played. And we don't have a big spell, so we do need to be mindful. Bandit, please. Nice, perfect barrel defense given the circumstances. And once again, if he pops a Mega Knight on that, he's gonna have a bad time. This is the the point of bridge spam where you're like, ooh, ooh, pick your poison, right? Pick your poison. Pick your poison, pick your poison. Oh my gosh, he's still defending. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Okay. No, 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 don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. No. <laughs> okay, good game. Honestly, he played really well. Um, I definitely, you know, could have played that better. I did a lot of damage to both towers, but I probably should have concentrated on one tower. But that was a crazy game. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. But we won. So we'll see you in the next game. Okay, up here against It's Gold. Looks like he likes cycle decks. He had a cannon, he had a skeleton, and he had an ice spirit in his banner. But you never really know what people are truly rocking. Just gonna cycle. He kind of has the same idea. That's always so interesting when people like... I don't know. I feel like cycling a miner is 
Link is kind of aggressive sometimes. He doesn't have any, uh, okay, so he's gonna be playing, like, minor control, like, a variant of minor control. Maybe, like, skeletons come down here. Okay, musky. Well played. I think this deck does, like, pretty decent against these types of decks. Okay. Ice Spirit to keep this from locking onto my tower, and Ghost just to clean it up. Boop. I would love to force out a building here, but I don't think that's going to happen. No way he has NATO. Okay, he doesn't. Let's go like this. Ooh, Bar Barrel comes down. Nice. And the building. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're beautiful. Let's find out if he has a big spell right now. Okay. No key, he might poison that. I wouldn't be surprised if he poisoned that. Then we can go for like a Goblin Stein. Or he might not because he spent a good amount of uh, elixir. Yeah, let's be aggressive because he does not have his bomb tower in hand. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And this is what this deck does very, very well. Oh, you thought. <laughs> you thought. Ah, uh, I thought. <laughs> I thought. Joke's on me, apparently. All right, well, well played, honestly. He got out of that. He got out of that, that situation very, very well. I thought we had him. I thought we had him, but GG's. Got to give credit where it's due. I'm gonna go Ghost here just to snatch up this Musketeer. Again, I would love to force out the building and just have like a giant Evo Battle Ram push or something like that. Well played. I mean, he knows the Skeleton's around trick, but we still... Ooh, almost get one one shot. Please play the building or something. I could go Prediction Arrows on Skeletons. But, oh, he doesn't have Skeletons in Cycle, actually. Okay. Okay, my man goes for a Balloon. And instead of defending, which is crazy, because um, that balloon is going to get destroyed. And we got pressure on both lanes. So I think that balloon might be the last thing he ever does, because look at how overwhelmed he is right now. Oh my god. Look at the left side. Look at the right side. It's chaos, bro. It's chaos on all fronts. On all fronts. On all fronts. Oof da roof da. What just happened to my, my man? He went for one balloon and just... just Threw in the towel, apparently. I mean, he's gonna get a tower here, but, uh, so are we, probably. Just keep spamming, just keep spamming, just keep spamming, spamming, spamming. What do you do when you play bridge spam? Ah, right, GG's. <laughs> GG's. That push was so satisfying. That was one of the worst balloons I've ever seen. Overwhelmed. Can't say I blame him. We'll hold that W and see you in the next match. Alright, up here against Amorim. Apparently they like archers. Maybe they're running expo. We'll see. Mm -hmm. In terms of starting plays, I'd say like spear goblins are probably your best starting play or playing reactively. You are really thriving off of like counter push. So um, in general, it's better to be reactive. Okay, looks like Royal Giant. I know Royal Giant when I see it. I've seen enough. Royal Giant does not want to run a building. Um, and since he doesn't have fishermen, a really good time to go for the battle ram. Um, we'll see if they go. They have log, so I don't want to go Ice Spirit and, and give him, you know, too much value. Ooh, okay. Might not be Royal Giant. I mean, some RG decks, RG decks do run Lumberjack. I'm going to go like this because it'll help keep my Doctor healthy. Uh, and Spear Goblin's out of the radius of the Rage, ideally. Nice. And that Phoenix is going to get slowed down. Okay. Fine with me. That interaction was great. Okay, I'm just going to keep up the pressure. I still think it is Royal Giant. Um, more than likely. More than likely. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Poor Fisherman's doing his best. Bandit's going to get a little bit of damage. Okay, they don't run a building, and so when he doesn't have Fisherman in Cycle, it's, like, kind of awkward for him to defend the Battle Rams. You can see he has to spend five Elixir there, which is nice for us. Okay. Let's go in. Evil Ice Spirit is such a cheat code against uh, Royal Giant because it, like, freezes it so many times. Like, look at that. That was crazy. Like, that was so good. I feel like that was just, like, broken. Okay, let's see if we can get the log out or something. Yeah, I was going to say, Evil Skeletons make sense there. Oh, but those arrows, those arrows, those arrows. Oh, Cannon Cart's tanking for the ghost. Cannon Cart's tanking for the ghost. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's dirty. 
Okay, we're gonna go Evo Battle Ram in the opposite lane. Spear Goblins try and clean up the tower because I don't have any direct tower damage. And he lets it go. That's actually really, really good for us. Okay. Cannon Cart's gonna be great. Uh, this is gonna be great as well. I know he has a Lightning more than likely, so let's just pop this ability early, clean everything up, and we're chilling like a villain Battle Ram like this. Uh, okay, bad Battle Ram, bad Battle Ram, bad Battle Ram, apparently. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everyone, feast your eyes on the King Tower. Mm, maybe I should have defended that. Well, overtime. And I don't really have a defense for this, so save me, save me, save me. Spam versus spam. I feel like we have to keep spamming because if he gets a royal giant off, yeah, okay. GG's. Um, I played it really good for the most part. Uh, I think it would have been better to just set up a defense against that royal giant and not put myself in that situation. But I'm really happy with how he played in single. Maybe a little too aggressive in double, but it's fine. Easy win. We'll see you in the next game. <laughs> Okay, into likely our last match of the video against Anthony. I've been having a lot of fun playing this deck, and it's really strong, but it's time. It's time to wrap it up. I can only I can only spam people at the bridge for so long without going insane. From the looks of it, it looks like 2.6, but you never know. Skeletons and Musketeer could be Balloon. Whenever you see Skeletons and Musky, it's usually Balloon or 2.6. Those are kind of like the two main things. The reason I'm, I'm going to go Ghost here is to keep my uh, Cannon Cart healthy, just so he has to spend some, something else on it. I'm gonna go Ice Spirit because I think he's gonna want to cheap out with skeletons, and he does not. But that's still that's still fine. Ice Spirit uh still got some value for us there. Okay, we're gonna go Goblin Sign of our own, and he is not playing 2.6. I was very wrong. Spirit Goblins in the back are gonna help defend ish, ish. Let's go like this as well, and we just gave him a fat poison. Good job, us. Or ability, fat ability, same idea. All right, we're just gonna let this go. I mean, he did get some damage. Um, but it is what it is. All right, Cannon Card is going to hopefully cancel out with that Musky. Nice job, Cannon Card. And we're just going to let it go. Okay, so Goblin Drill, maybe Poison, I would assume. I mean, I, I, there aren't that many Goblin Drill decks that don't run Poison. They usually run a building as well. So I expect this to be an easy defense for them. Probably just going to drop like a building or something. Yep, there it is. And we're just going to cycle our Ice Spirit, trying to get to our Evos. Kind of like misplaced that cannon and not a great spot. So we're going to get two Barbarian shots and some Spear Goblin chip. Always appreciate that. Wow, 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 wow. That Ice Spirit that we just kind of cycled ended up paying, paying dividends for us. Okay, he's going to go opposite lane. We're just going to go Ghost. It's going to do great against the, the drill. Very great. And I'm going to hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is going to go maybe snipe a building. Okay, now Log comes down. Evo Musky comes down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yes, yes. Okay. So far, so good on that interaction. Okay. Let's go Goblin Stein. And then Ghost as well. Ghost is so good against the drill. I swear, it's so underrated. Battle Ram, Battle Ram and Cannon Cart down. We're gonna have our arrows ready because I need to be mindful of Evo Skeletons. Mm, where are they? I swear he has Evo Skeletons. Maybe not. I'm gonna try and snipe this uh, musky. And it works, kind of. These are gonna be good arrows as well. Spear Goblins in case he goes for Skeletons. And we have two cannon cards down! We have two cannon cards down! <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's so nuts. He can't even go in for a a drill without getting overwhelmed. Okay, so we're going to reset here um, and just be happy with that damage. That was also to help cycle to my Evos. Okay. I'm going to go Cannon Card in the back. We have our Evo uh, Ice Spirit as well, which is going to be great on defense. Okay. Okay, that's really good arrows value, actually. Okay. Go like this. I want to kind of snipe the Doctor. And uh, we don't, but that's okay. Great arrows value here. Maybe we can hit clip something else, and we do. And, and that's going to be a good game, man. It's just too much. It's just too much. I mean, that's the theme of this deck. Great last match of the video. Pretty easy win, and we'll see you in the outro. 
And that is gonna do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in case you wanna, you know, try it for yourself. I'll put the link to it in the YouTube description as well so you can just open it inside of Clash Royale. Give this deck a try, man. It is so strong. Highest win rate in Ultimate Champion. Need I say more? It's really easy to use and um, it's a good mix up, you know, not playing with a big spell other than arrows. It's refreshing. So give it a try. I promise it'll make you a better player. And if you've made it this far, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. And I really hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.